Arg. Hi everybody. Welcome to episode 49 of Twisted Strands and oh boy. It's been a crazy week of trying to get ready for the holidays. I finally did the Christmas tree <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Damn all these holiday events taken away from my knitting time. Seriously. Um, ooh, I have a new special ale and I really do like this one. It's Winter Solstice Seasonal Ale by Anderson Valley Brewing Company and it is delicious. It is light, refreshing, tasty, and doesn't have a very heavy aftertaste or anything like that at all. It's, it's pretty damn cool. So I recommend this one. It's yummy. So see, no flinching. Anyway, oh boy, so how are you guys doing? Everybody doing all right? Anybody panicking yet? Because I am panicking a bit. Let's see. I don't have any new yarns or new nothing for you. I've got um, well, at least one new magazine to review this week, but that's later in stuff and junk. Let's go on to works in progress. I've only got two big things on the needles right now. One is the Mabel Socks, designed by our beloved Sadie of the Yarnivore Podcast, who is made of awesome. And I'm finally on the heel. You can't really tell because it's like too low is the rose of a heel, but I'm done with the leg and cuff. So, yay for heels. I do love doing the heels. But what's really been destroying my free time... is the Rabbit Beanie, designed by Sarah Jager. I'm saying it like that even though it's spelled J-A with two dots on the top, G-E-R, because I think it's German. I, I could be horribly mistaken and I do apologize. Sorry for massacring your name, Sandra. But, is it Sandra? Yes, Sandra. <laughs> anyway, at long last I finished the corrugated ribbing and I'm off to the charts. And it is 144 stitches of stranded knitting and I am panicking even though I shouldn't because it is just knitting, right? I shouldn't be panicking. But I am, because color work is not my forte. Not sure what my forte is, but I don't think color work is that yet. I somehow managed to do four centimeters of corrugated ribbing without fucking up too badly. Looks like a hot mess. But I've heard from Plurkies that it looks better after blocking. I hope so. It's a Christmas present for someone very dear. But anyway. See? Strands! Goddess knows how many freaking videos I've watched about color knitting. Yesterday, late at night, I was reading all about it in my Superstar Knitting by Debbie Stoller. Ugh. Oh, the yarn I'm using for this is Lana Grossa's Seta Cashmere. It's fingering weight. It's got nylon, cashmere, silk, and merino. And I'm also using Knit Picks palette, which is just wool. I picked this one because the color was just perfect for the hat. So, and I didn't want to order from Knit Picks and have to wait because so, I'm kind of starting this late as far as I'm concerned. Um, Basically, that's it. Anything else that I list is in my works in progress on Ravelry. <sighs> Most of that is hibernating, I hate to say it. But I do have a finished object for you, and I've been toying with him. He is my completed 
Corbin. Corbin the creative. And somehow I've knit a piece of myself into this. A little bit of hair. Lovely. I guess I'll be attached to my cousin uh, forever because I've knitted something accidentally into knitted my hair. Into it. <laughs> so, anyway, this is him. And all his finished glory. Eh, he's crooked. But anyway, the beads worked very well for waiting, and his little feet turned out grand. Overall, I think he he was a good job knitting, and I really did like it. Except for the horns, which were a nightmare. But hey, where's the fun in not challenging yourself every once in a while, right kids? But anyway, he's done, he's ready. I'm going to mend his horns a little bit, because I don't know what the heck happened there. And then he will be ready to be gifted to Dylan, my sweet little um, cousin. I made him extra tough for play. And you might ask yourself, why is she talking about knitting her hair into something and staying with someone forever? It, it's an old folklore term. If you knit your hair into a piece and give it to someone, you are supposed to be with that person forever. I don't mean anything gross by that. <laughs> with my cousin. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just a weird joke. Because I'm like that. I'm weird. But anyway, finished object, Corbin. His ears are oddly poseable, which I kind of think is cool. And green cat eyes. I think they stand out nicely on him, don't you think? Anyway, back to your corner. <laughs> that's my finished object for the week. Let's see what else. Uh, that's it. I haven't done any spinning. All of my time is devoted to knitting and reading knitting magazines and stuff like that because uh, that's how I roll. Um, next week I will be reviewing some more stuff, but I haven't finished reading Ask Goblins of Auschwitz yet, so you'll have to wait to hear my opinion of that. It's pretty funny. But anyway. So, those are my two main projects, my my finished object, what else? Oh, movies for knitting and crocheting and spinning. I've been watching a lot of movies and today I finished this one that I didn't even think I'd watch. It's called Dorian Gray. Probably pretty loosely based on a story written by Oscar Wilde of the same name, and it was pretty cool. I liked it. It Colin Firth was a character was in it, which was pretty neat. And naturally, any movie with a good-looking guy, it's got my attention. <laughs> um, so that gets. Let's see. I would say. Five out of five ball skeins for that one. Next one is Venom. And that is a horror flick, bit of a slasher flick, with a supernatural tinge. And I would give that three out of five skeins. It was okay. Good if you like horror, but a ton of loopholes and plot holes. Oh, man. And then Vampires. I'd give that a two skeins out of five. It was kind of odd and it was a foreign movie. It was... It's based on the reality show where you do a documentary, but it's with normal human beings being forced to document these vampires in their lives. And I liked it because, well, it's got vampires. It's got at least one or two good-looking guys in it. 
yeah, but it was a little bit meh. It, but anyway, worth watching if you like the genre of vampires and documentaries. Thank God nobody sparkles in it. And two skeins out of five. Yeah. It was okay. Would not watch it again. Um, now, my last movie is Incident on and Off a Mountain Road. This one is... Okay, it was bad. I would give it about one skein out of five. It was bad. So many holes and Sometimes you wondered if you were watching the same movie from one minute to the next. It, it was another slash film, horror genre. You know, you get lost on a road and suddenly you're being chased by a murderer. So, anyway, I, no, it was just poor. Don't waste your time. Unless you've really, really watched all your good horror flicks and you find yourself doing a garter stitch blanket or something like that. If so, go for it. I give it one skein out of two. Even the movie about the documentary of the vampires filmed in gloomy, nearly black and white, and in French. Or Belgium, was it? Anyway, foreign language subtitle film was better than this one. That. Oh, let's see what else. Check my notes here. Ah, okay. Of course. The. Sorry for the sound effect. <laughs> That's word for you. Sorry about that. Anyway, the drawing. The drawing for the wool. Um, bear with me a second. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that is how organized I am. See? Maybe I should stick to the easy knitting so I don't run bad podcasts. Anyway, the drawing for this week. Two skeins of worsted yarn. And let's run the drawing right now, shall we? There were 42 posts in the board. Excuse me. Let's see who gets it. Oh. Okay, number 24 is the winner. Let's go see who that is. 24, 24, 24. Ashley McCauley. Hey, there you go. And I hope she doesn't mind if I use her, tell her story of how she got started in her fiber craft. It's, uh, quote, my coworker brought to work a heart crocheted out of red heart and I thought it was the most amazing thing. So right then I picked up some hooks and taught myself how. Then I wanted access to all those beautiful knitting patterns so two months later I taught myself how to knit. So now I've been knitting and crocheting for about a year and a half. Yay! Um, so Ashley I will be asking you for your address so I can send you some lovely pink yarn. I'm sure you'll get more enjoyment out of it than I did. And let's see. Well, next week, excuse my itchy nose, I will be having the last drawing since it is episode number 50. Yay! 50! And my cursor is picking my nose. Isn't that lovely? I'm going to do a raffle for some gorgeous sock yarn. This is Knit Fit Knitting, hand-painted yarn in North Carolina. 
and this is called Moonstone Superwash BFL, 422 yards. So that'll be great for somebody. It's not my color scheme, that's why I'm giving it away. It was a gift to me. And yeah, this is the final drawing. I will probably do more drawing for my 100th episode, God forbid I should be that long. Um, hopefully I will. But yeah, last drawing. I wish I could give you all stuff, I really do. Um, is for this wonderful sock yard, and now my nose is going nuts. <laughs> oh, I was also going to write tips for the week, and my tip is to keep calm and knit on. Of course, that can be keep calm and crochet on, or just keep calm and yarn on, and oh my god, my nose doesn't itch me all evening until I press record, right? <laughs> ah. Seriously. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's see, do I have any amusing stories? Yeah, I do have something funny that happened to me. Alright, so Knit and Public Day. A while ago we're talking. And <laughs> so I'm sitting with this group of people I hardly know knitting along and every once in a while someone would comment on my um, socks that I'm working on. It was when I was working on the watermelon socks that I love so much. It's when I was working on that. So <laughs> people are going to think I'm evil for this but anyway so I was just minding my own damn business knitting along and suddenly the woman next to me she's like a, a foot or two away she starts looking around like, hmm, hmm. So anyway, the next thing I know, she lifts her ass cheek and she farts in my general direction. I couldn't fucking believe it. And of course, I've got my knit meeting manners on so I can say shit like did you just fart at me? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> so anyway hmm, I haven't seen that group in a while and then oh, this happened last week at knit night with people that I cherish and <laughs> so, uh, one of the uh, other ladies in the group what is trying to play Cupid for her friend who's maybe a little bit older than me but not much. So she said generally out loud to the group so if anybody knows a man who's about 45 or older maybe that's a sweet good man let me and I and I interrupted her and I said dude if I knew someone of that quality I'd keep it myself. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> That's me. Aren't you so happy I'm in your uh I'm not in your knitting group. <laughs> anyway, I wish I was in your knitting groups. Uh maybe I should be in some VKN soon. <sighs> so so you can invite me to knitting groups online. Let me give you my information and info about the podcast, and I'll wrap things up, and I will attempt some colored stranded knitting and try to find out Ashley's address. Um, Alright, so you can find my group on Ravelry as Knitted Strands Podcast, and my name there is on Ravelry is J-D and that's J-A-D-E-E -E, always spelled like that. My email address is J-D-A-L-T at gmail.com On Plurk I'm J-D-666 Facebook I am J-D Huff H-U-F-F On Google I think it's Jeannie Huff I'm not sure might be JDF. I have no clue. Anyway, I'm on Google Plus too. 
<laughs> just email me on jdalt at gmail.com if you want me to join you or put you in my circle. I'm on Pinterest, Pinterest, although I'm not very active there. But I think it's pretty cool. As uh, JD666, I think. Yes. And you can find show notes and the video cast online at the blog at Twisted Strands with an extra S dot blogspot dot com and you can find me on iTunes and if you like the show or have um, quality feedback not just bashing me like the slut I am um, <laughs> you can do so there at least a star give a bitch a star would ya anyway anyway keep calm and craft on alright and I will see you next week. Have a good one, everybody.